Is that Honda literally right? That Honda. <laughs> <laughs> that Honda just started revving. What the heck? Anyway, I have come to a decision, and that decision is that I need a pressure washer because here's the thing. I go to the car wash at least twice a week, $10 a week. Pressure washers only cost like 100 bucks. So here we are at Home Depot. Probably not the best place to get a pressure washer, but we're gonna, gonna rock it, and hopefully we get one. We'll see. So it looks like this is the cheapest one they've got. 120 bucks. So he's looking for a pressure washer. I'm bored. So I'm going to my favorite section. Light section. Like these? They're huge mungus. Love them. <laughs> he's literally looking for a pressure washer. So this is the pressure washer we're going with. A little small. It's, ow, fuck. Oh, Jesus. You just stepped on my finger. It's the cheapest one they have. It's, uh, you know, this is what I have to deal with on the daily. I also need a hose, Audrey. No, where are their hoses? Not here? Not here. Not here. I want one of those like automatic totally pull the ones. Expanding hose, 30 bucks. 160 bucks. Oh shit, what up? It's bad boy. Nope, more there you go. You have to hold it now. Who the heck parked their car like this? How do you feel about the no ding squat? I don't like being so far away. I'm a lazy bastard <laughs> and I can't do this anymore. Look, no ding squat. Nobody's right there. We're at uh, Walmart to get some more stuff. All right, we got some clay bar. Wow, wax is not cheap. So these things are supposed to come with pads and they've both been broken into and the pads have been stolen. So I, I can't buy them. See, that's what it's supposed to have. Why am I not surprised? Walmart. I got another hose because this one was half the price of the one at Home Depot. What are you doing? This doesn't even work. Oh wait. There you go. They went in the back and got me one of those. Clay bar, wax, buffing compound, wash mitt. All right, I think that's it. I've already spent too much on this. No. Those are all the posters that I need to ship. So that's awesome. Kinda smells like Axe. Classy dipped wheels on your Jeep, man. <laughs> United States Post Office. I'm shipping the posters. I kind of have a feeling that I'm about to get porked by the post office. Shipping packages to different countries is just so outrageously expensive. Like, I'm expecting it to be about $100 to ship the 10 posters. I don't really know, but if it's anything under 100, I'll be happy. So that went pretty decently. $80 to ship all 10 posters, which was, you know, about where I wanted it to be. Still, it's just so much. I mean, the things weigh nothing. They weigh three ounces. Let's go test out that new power washer and clean this car. Uh, I really need to fix these things. They don't do anything. Get the bucket shine. <laughs> Literally, the wind blew his paint off because I haven't even driven this car. That is retard. Okay. I guess we know painting's not my strong suit. But I can't drive the thing through with the wheels. All right, let's open it. <laughs> that actually worked. Oh shit, I almost just died. Hose, the gun, pew pew. And here is the actual thing. 
Well, there's a start. Oh yeah, let's plug that in. I think I just bend it back, but are you serious? Come on, man. Come on. Ow, that hurts. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know how this works, but I guess let's go ahead and put it all together. You gotta screw on this tip. Oh shit, now it's like a friggin' sniper. Damn. I'm gonna read the instructions and just try to understand how this thing works exactly. And then we can test it out on maybe both of the cars. I don't know. Now as you see, there's a hose socket thing here, but there's one in the garage which is much closer to the driveway, so I think we're gonna use that. So, I'm gonna take this. Does this work though? No, no, no. Okay, that's why I didn't use this one. <laughs> oh boy. So far I'm noticing it's working pretty well, but it definitely does not cover as much as like a, an actual nice one does. I'm gonna throw some soap in here and see how the soap works. Touchless wash done, and now it's time for the touch wash. I got my two buckets. Shout out to Chris Fix. Play bar time. couple of hard hours of work the car looks so much better but let me tell you that was not because of the $100 pressure washer not at all it was a combination of two things number one this stuff this stuff is amazing like this is the best wax I've ever used plus smells so good it's like a mix between coconut and like honey oh my god secondly is because of this little guy you're focusing on the wrong thing camera okay Eh? Oh! As you can see, we used it quite well. The car hasn't had either of these things for at least a year. So getting a good layer of wax on there really made a big difference. Let me point out the obvious, I am complete trash at detailing. So for the car to look this good, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. But about the cheap pressure washer, not worth it. I'm actually gonna go return it. The thing is, is that the coverage is trash, the pressure is trash, it's just a hassle, it's there's nothing good about it. If you are gonna get one, go to Harbor Freight, get the $60 one. I think the only good use about the cheap ones is like in the winter to wash off the salt. That's it, don't use it to actually clean your car. It, it does, it's not good enough. I also learned a couple other things. It was way too sunny and way too windy to actually be washing a car. The combination of the crappy coverage and the sun made it so like the car was completely dry in a matter of two minutes. And the wind kept blowing my towels everywhere and landing on the ground. And once these things land on the ground, they're worthless because they've got all tons of shit in them. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like. And if you're new, make sure to subscribe. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.